Welcome back friends. Kwa hiyo kwenye video iliyopita ni sema nitaendelea na sales specialization and here tunaendelea kwa hiyo sales specialization ni vile ambavyo one cell inakuwa na organelle au ina compartment within. Sasa different compartments of the cell zinakuwa zinafanya different functions. Na sometime utaenda kwenye baadhi ya vitabu wataandika cell compartmentalization maana yake seli inakuwa inatengeneza compartment. Kwa hiyo seli kama seli zinakuwa zinatoka kwenye kitu na kita stem cell. Kwa mfano red blood cell zinatoka kwenye stem cell ambayo ziko kwenye bone marrow. Kitendo cha red blood cell kutoka kwenye stem cell ambayo stem cell zina uwezo wa differentiate into different types of cells. So for example bone marrow which are stem cell they can differentiate into white blood cell, red blood cell or into lymphocytes which can be B lymphocytes or T lymphocytes or sometimes can differentiate into platelets. Kwa hiyo unakuta kwamba stem cell ambazo ziko kwenye bone marrow zina uwezo kudifferentiate kwenda kwenye B lymphocyte, kwenda kwenye T lymphocyte, kwenda kwenye white blood cell, kwenda kwenye red blood cell au kwenda kwenye platelets. Kwa hiyo unagundua kwamba hiyo yote ni kwa sababu anapotoka kwenye stem cell kuja kwenye hizi cell nyingine yani white, red blood, platelet anakuwa anafanya process specialization au differentiation kuna process anaziandago kwa unaweza kaita kama ni cell specialization au ni cell differentiation so by definition hii unaona hapa ameandika ni compartment and division of labor maana yake a cell inakuwa ina divide labor to its organelles to its sub cellular compartments kama mitochondria corpus and things like that kwa hiyo Eukaryotic cell are far larger and more complex than prokaryotic cell and contain many organelles. The eukaryotic cell has been therefore compared to a factory where although different machine and people have different jobs all are working together with one purpose. Efficiency is improved by division of labor that is cell specialization. Kwa hiyo manake eukaryotic cell imefanishwa na kiwanda ambacho kuna watu wengi na kuna different department watu wengi wanafanya kazi mbalimbali lakini bado aim yao inakuwa ni moja kufikia sehemu ambapo seli itaweza kusurvive so cell specialization ni kama straining out of jobs in such a way in such a way in the cell each organelle has its own rule involving its own specialized structure and chemistry so this is the definition of cell specialization hii ambayo ni highlight the straining out of jobs in such a way in the cell each organelle has its own rule each organ has its own rule and its own specialized structure and chemistry for example mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell providing energy in the form of atp from specialized reaction of respiration the cell as a whole is a effective divided up into compartment kwa hiyo cell may be divided up into different compartments na that's what we call cell specialization Now sometimes your process huwa unaita kama ni cell differentiation. Na hizo nosi ziko kwenda after jingine hapa ndio maana nimeamua ni nilete hapa uweze kuona. Sometimes unaweza kaita cell specialization, sometimes cell differentiation. So cell differentiation is the modification of a cell in shape and structure so as to perform a specific function. Specialization each organelle is given a specific function but differentiation we modify a cell so as to perform a certain function sometimes these terms they are used interchangeably yani mtu atakaye sema cell ina differentiate so as to perform a certain function na mwingine atakaye sema cell ina specialize they are used interchangeably however definition zake ni kama zinatofautiana kidogo kwa sababu kwenye ku modify maana yake ndio tuna modify by specialization the process of modification ndio ile specialization lakini tunavyo modify ili ku perform specific function is what we call differentiation now it is the process in which cell and other parts of the organism become different from one another and also different from their previous condition and acquire bit to perform their function kwa kwa say differentiation lazima uelewe kitu ambacho tunasema they acquire ability how they undergo modification so as to perform a certain function wakati kule kwenye specialization tuko na sema tu ni straining out of jobs Because sometimes teachers wanaweza kuuliza differentiate between cell specialization and cell differentiation. Kama ukiuliza swali kama ile ku differentiate difference zake ndio zinakuwa differentiation 
tuna modify a cell so as to perform a, a certain specific function. While in cell specialization, we are doing string out of jobs so that each organelle has its own specialized structure and chemistry. Lakini vitu vina ingiriana sana katika kuvierezea. Now, tuacho kisema ni kwamba the compartmentalization is often achieved by membranes. So, just as a cell surface membrane, control exchange of material between the cell and its environment. Each membrane bounded organelle can have its own particular unique set of chemicals and the chemical reaction. Kwa hiyo, eukaryotic cell unakuta kwamba kuna kwa kuna organelle ambazo zina membrane. Zile membrane zinasaidia katika kufanya chemicals zistoke kwenye organelle na reaction of the cell which are taking place in certain organelle iziweze kufanya kazi vizuri. Kwa hiyo, compartmentalization au cell specialization inafanyika sasa kwa kuzizungushia organelle wanazungushia membrane. Kwa hasasa cell specialization inafanyika kwenye eukaryotic cell. Kwa swali sana unaweza kuuliza, eukaryotic cell are compartment compartmentally and highly specialized discuss. U discuss kwamba manake nini tunavyosema highly specialized. Hapa kifupi ni utaelezea definition ya specialization ambayo ni sawa sana kusema definition ya compartmentalization na pia utaelezea hizo examples za za specialization. Now, kuna hii swali wanauliza kwamba organelles of eukaryotic cells zimekuwa bounded by membrane. Kwa nini kuna umuhimu gani? What is the importance of the organelle to be bound by membrane? Now here we have different importance. Kwenye understanding biology imeandika importance kama nne, lakini hapa tumezinyumbua ziko zaidi ya hizo. Kwa hiyo lazima usijue is sometimes they ask a direct question na ukikosa mimi nakuchukulia wewe ni una shida tu. So Tunacho kusema ni kwamba advantage ya kwanza many metabolic process involve enzyme embedded or fix become fixed family. Kwa mfano kwenye mitochondria kuna kwa kuna enzyme kuna kwa kuna cytochrome ambazo zile cytochrome zimekuwa bound kwenye inner membrane of the mitochondria. Kwa unaogundua kwamba ile inner membrane of the mitochondria ime allow binding of the cytochromes ambazo zile cytochrome zime allow the reactions of mitochondria which is electron transport chain to take place. Unaona bwana kwa hiyo Kiufupi ni many metabolic process zina involve enzyme. Kwa uzile enzyme zimekuwa embedded kwenye membrane ili zisitoke nje kwa sababu sometimes zikitoka nje zinaweza kaita effect. Kwa mfano, kasha mzimu ndani ya mitochondria lakini zikileak kwenda outside of the mitochondria they can cause apoptosis of the cell. Kwa hiyo all of those things na mambo ya apoptosis tutaenda kuya discuss baadaye lakini ndio hivyo hiyo ndio kiufupi. As the cell become large the proportion of membrane membrane surface area to cell volume is reduced this portion is increased by presence of organelle membrane in the cytoplasm for the reaction to take place ko organelles in afuko zina membrane zile membrane zina increase surface area to volume ratio lakini ya pili the rate of metabolic pathway inside an organelle can be controlled by regulating the rate at which the membrane surrounding the organelle help to control the rate of metabolic pathway by allowing reactant to enter one by one ko nakuta kwa mfano rate ya respiration lazima itategemea na glucose kiasi gani imeingia kwenye kwenye mitochondria itategemea na rate ya Krebs cycle kwa mfano itategemea na acetyl coenzyme A zimeingia kiasi gani kwenye mitochondria kwa hiyo unaogundua kwamba tunaweza to maintain rate of metabolic pathway by controlling reactants which are entering the organelle ambazo zile reactants zinaingilia kwenye membrane kwa membrane zinatusaidia ku control rate of metabolic pathway by controlling reactants Jambo la tatu potentially harmful reactant or enzyme are isolated inside the organelle so they won't damage the rest of the cell. Kwa mfano digestive enzymes protest ziko ndani ya lysosome. Kwa mfano for example lysosome have enzymes enclosed or isolated. Kwa enzymes za kwenye lysosome zikileak kwenda nje zinasababisha autolysis zina digest cell yenyewe. Kwa kumbe tukiwa na membrane ambayo imeizunguka lysosome tunakuwa tumezilinda zile enzyme zisiweze ku affect other parts of the cell lakini pia jambo la nne membrane organelles help to compartmentalize the cell so that each react each reaction in one organelle kwa hiyo inasaidia kila reaction itokee kwenye organelle moja membrane zinasaidia katika kuigawa seli kwa sura hii jambo la tano membrane organelle act as site of exchange of material just like self surface membrane 
Copper is an act as surface, act is an act as the site of exchange of material. Ukumbuke advantage ya pili ni kuambia membrane mweneza yika control metabolic activity. Kwa kukontrol entrance na excite of material. Lakini hapa hii advantage ya tano ni kuamba membrane zina act as the site of exchange. Hapa ni site of exchange kule ni control of metabolic, control of the rate of metabolic pathway. So the nuclear membrane allow the regulation of different material in and out of the nucleus. Iyo ni mfano tu nuclear membrane lakini kuna mitochondria kuna chloroplast. Jambo la sita membrane organelle help to offer protection in the inner parts of the organelle. Kwa maana yake zina cause na i protect the part. Kwa mfano nuclear membrane zina protect DNA and the other nuclear mat material. Jambo la saba membrane organelle form a continuous system of communication between one organelle and the other. It makes organelle to be to be logically proximate such that their function are very near to each other. Kwa hiyo hiyo membrane organelle zinasaidia katika kutengeneza continuous system. Kwa mfano kwenye seli unakuta kuna connection kati ya nucleus endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, lysosome and all of those things, Golgi apparatus. Kwa hiyo ile yote maana yake membrane unakuta mle ndani kuna system of membrane ambayo imesaidia katika connect hizo hapo. For example, an organelle which produces protein to the ribosome is very near to that which transport the protein out of the cell through endoplasmic reticulum is very near to the connected to the nuclear membrane and so on the surface of the cell membrane kwa maana yake unaangalia messenger RNA inatoka kwenye nucleus kitoka kwenye nucleus inaenda kwenye endoplasmic reticulum ambayo iko kwenye just the surface of the nucleus In, on the surface of the nucleus pia kuna lysosome kwa Libosomes, I mean, libosomes zina synthesize protein ina commodified kwenye endoplasmic reticulum pale pale inaenda kwenye Golgi apparatus. Kwa zile membrane ndio zimesaidia hiyo transport. Advantage ya nane, excretion of enzymes. Kwa hiyo enzymes kwa mfano zinapokuwa zimetengenezwa kutoka kwenye Golgi apparatus zinafungwa kwenye lysosome, zinafungwa kwenye lysosome ambayo inakuwa inaenda kufanya exocytosis. So excretion of enzymes, the proportion of enzymes secreted is increased by the presence of membrane. The membrane provides a large surface area for the secretion of enzymes. Hiyo ni advantage ya nane. Kwa hiyo kutoka hapo tunaenda kusoma difference kati ya kati ya prokaryotic na eukaryotic cell. Hizi ni hizi tu tutazikimbiza. Kwa hiyo that's the next video. Kwa hiyo ngoja tuishie hapa mambo ya cell differentiation pamoja na cell specialization and importance of the organ to have Memblems. Stay tuned. Subscribe my channel for more and more videos. If you don't understand anything, just comment below and then I will work with your comment.